This channel and the content on it was created for adults only, 18 plus. We don't promote or condone any illegal activity or the use of any illegal substance. This was created for informational and educational purpose only. Get some stash plan, <laughs> feed my kids. <laughs> Fucking nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, see, I even forgot to take my hoot. I loved it so much. <laughs> I did too. I love it. That was good. Happy was good. Wednesday. Thank yes. Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you so much. To, thank you so much to El Canasaur for um, the intro. Um, yeah, big shout out to him for that. That was dope. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Oh my goodness. It's the first time I've seen really it on the big screen, it. so it's it was cool. Yeah. Oh, what a heck of a community member! If anybody needs logos or some graphics done, he's the yeah, guy. He's to go in the to. chat, so just click his name oh, and. Awesome! Thank <laughs> you, thank you so much. That's amazing. Actually, yeah. they're coming. Out, they got a new uh, a new show coming out. That's about yes. to start. Oh. I think it's uh, Seed to Harvest podcast. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, cool. so they're going to be doing oh. it. They, they started already. It's just kind of like they're just kind of working out the, the details, kind of like what we were doing at the beginning yeah. of it all when we were just like fucking with everything. Yeah, yeah. The only suggestion that we give is make sure it's manageable on a long-term basis. You don't, because it's so easy to get like caught up in a million ideas and just like you, you get so excited and you just want to do everything. Just focus yeah. on a couple things and just make sure it's sustainable and then go from there. So uh, oh, I wish you all the luck. So when it's all launched and ready to go, you let us know and uh, we'll have you guys on. We'll, we'll give you guys a, a good community shout out. And uh, yeah, I think I will... subscribed. I think I subscribed already on the home grow page. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. So cool. I had him, oh. I had him uh, tell me what it was so I could get there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause yeah. we're going to be suppressed over there too. So we, we have to help each other as much as we can, wherever we can, even if you yep. don't like yeah. it, still subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Just thank you everybody nice. for joining. We have an exciting show today. We do. We do. Yeah. So we got the Don himself. I'm sure you guys the can Don. tell. <laughs> we have Can of Can coming on. So that's going to be very, very fun. Yes. Excited Super to know excited. more. Yes. He's taking over, man. Germinating yeah. is not the same anymore. Yeah, it's no, already I've, been dormant improved. I right? just uh, finished using it and I loved it. Yeah, yours, yeah. yours popped overnight too, didn't they? Yes, they did. And normally I'd have like seven different cups in my cupboard. So that takes up a lot of room. Well, with this, I don't need seven cups. I don't need a lot of room. It's all in one little, contained in one spot, which is amazing. One little, one yeah. little spot. And I remember I told, I told you guys about my mix up the other night. I'm like, I don't know what I did, but I've got oh, all yeah. seeds in here. I shouldn't have had these seeds. What happened to them? You know what it was? The seeds that did pop, popped right out of their seed hull and left the seed. So I planted the seed hulls of the sprouts I already planted. 
So essentially, I planted the same thing twice in a weird mama way, because that's only <laughs> something mama would do, because I didn't have my glasses with me. So I'm like, oh, that's a cute seed. Yep, yep, that looks like right spot. <laughs> no, I had my hand turned, and I just popped the seed hulls, because it, they popped so perfectly out of the seed that I was literally left with just the hull that still looked like a seed. So Crazy. There you go, folks. There you have it. Interview over. <laughs> Seeds pop. They explode right out. Right out. Right out of it. So much so that I planted the hull thinking it was a seed. <laughs> Only mama That's does hilarious. that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so the I've mystery has been before. solved because I was very confused by the situation when I came back downstairs and I'm like, wait a minute. I put my glasses on and I'm like, I still have seeds in the can. What's going on here? <laughs> oh my. So there. Okay. Enough. 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 Let's let's bring on our wonderful guest. Bunny, yes. would you like to do the the introduction? Nope. She's frozen. Nope. She's frozen. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we're bringing it. on bringing on the dawn, Mister Canna Can himself. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, well, what's going welcome. on, dude? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you as well. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so you much hear... for joining us this evening. Yeah, it's so did you hear Mama's little you. story? I did. Double planting. <laughs> So, um, yeah, make sure the old lady glasses are on next time I'm in the garden. Well, they pop the so good, you. they just explode out of the seed. <laughs> and you guys, I think that means. Fine dressed. I love it. Oh, great. yes, yes. Thank you so much for the Thank you. Yeah. We've got the uniforms on. We're good to go. Awesome. Bun we Bunny, the match. Bunny and I were fighting over the pink. We were fighting over the pink one. She conceded. I think you guys made the right choices. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I said blue is my favorite color, to be honest. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, welcome, so, well, sir. Please give yourself a little introduction. Yeah, well, I'm uh, Don, the inventor and creator of uh, Canna Can. And uh, what Canna Can is, is uh, a new solution for easy germination. Canna Can allows you to soak and germinate up to eight strains in the same canister, uh, making it very easy. No more label chasing or risking contamination and damage when transferring and, you know, handling your seeds. Um, we also, I also have the hugger seed tweezers that make it safe. So you never have to touch a seed from, from the second you get it till it's time you plant it. So, um, can a can is just a better, safer solution for germination, and we provide uh, the ideal environment for seed germination, so we get um, more consistent and faster results. Nice, yeah. Germination. <laughs> I love the fact that, like, when you're there's no water left in there, like it's still wet. Like you're just kind of in the germinating stage now. You're not soaking anymore. But when you take that lid off. The humidity in that thing is just like crazy. It's dripping off the lid and off down the walls and everything. It's perfect. Yeah, and that's that's the secret sauce. So um we're pretty, you know, we're pretty avid growers here, and not just in the cannabis. Um, we have a you know a 30-foot greenhouse, we have two acres, we do a lot of gardening. And you know, I've tried all methods. I'm I'm somebody that we I grew up in a right to farm community, so you know, I have early memories of going to the garden and getting the veggies for dinner. So it's not not new to growing. And when I came up with can -a can it was, you know, trying to find a way to easily organize uh, the germination process. Um, I'm somebody that likes to grow multiple varieties, uh, whether it be flowers, vegetables, cannabis. Um, and doing so, you know, there's, there's, there's multiple options to germinate, but... Um, there had to be a simpler way, you know, we, we would, I like to grow multiple strains, eight to 12 strains. And 
you know, when you have, like they were saying, you know, I think it was Money was saying before, is that you have all these jars that you're soaking in, and all those jars are labeled. And then once you're done soaking them, um, if you're taking the, you know, the plastic bag with paper towel route or, or you know, cotton pads, you're risking, the, you know, a lot yeah. over handling the seeds and also mismatching labels. Um, I've, I've had a couple of years, but I'm out back saying, Maybe that's the one I lost. I don't know, you know. <laughs> well, I'm pretty yeah. sure everybody's done the the mix up thing, like where you know you, you go to take them out of the jar and put them in the paper towel or something like that, and you got like you said, like eight different Ziploc bags with paper towel, and um, you're trying to do eight different things all at one time. I'm pretty sure all of us have mixed them up at least once, for Absolutely. sure, whether we know it or not. <laughs> And, and it's, 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 also, it's also very time consuming um yeah. when you're doing that you're running those many baggies and stuff um you know you're, you're talking you know eight strains to do it carefully you, you know it could take you up to an hour where the can of can you have if you look at it as like eight soaking jars and and you know um eight baggies it, it just simplifies the process all you need to do is open the lid so instead of spending an hour it literally takes two seconds. And mm -hmm. um, what's nice too is sometimes, you know, when you're when you're committed to the bags and stuff, once you open them, you're kind of like, I know that seed's not ready, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna plant it now anyway. And sometimes you're taking a big risk that way. And then you you take risks of you know tap roots growing into the fibers of those those mediums, you know what I mean? And um yeah. so it wasn't like I, I was out looking to to invent something. What I was doing is you know, we have a setup, like I said, we do a lot of gardening, we do a lot of flowers, we do a lot of germination and growing, and because of that, you know, people seem to gravitate to us to set up their, you know, their seeds every year. And, you know, some years, yeah. you know, we have a something percent germination rate, and then you're doing the same methods in the same environment, and you, you get a 60 something percent, and it's like, look, look, you know, nothing's changed. And then somebody, you know, you're killing somebody's $15, 30 plus dollar seeds. Um, and we would spend, you know, opening the baggies and transferring. And, and, and I'm super, you know, um, detailed and methodical. So, I, you know, the labeling is very important to me. And like I said, we would spend bending over, unfolding everything a, a lot of time. And, you know, this 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 here is the original can of can. Okay. And all of it, it was... Uh, wow. Yeah, it was, you know, a frog tape container, and I came across, uh, luckily, I had a bunch of different varieties of seeds, and I said, all right, well, the labeling and stuff is going to be an easier way, so I figured out a way to, you know, to to get them organized, and then it was, well, let's let's step back from all the methods, because I know some people are into direct sowing as well, and, and this is beneficial, too, because there's a lot that goes into direct sowing, especially if you're growing indoors in a tent, you're going to warm your tent for a couple of days, getting your you know your your soil more, you know temp up um and then there's other variables you know you have what's your temperature of your soil what's the moisture content in the soil is it wet too wet too dry there's a lot there and if you take a couple extra hours and you you germinate these seeds and establish a good you know tap root they're most vulnerable when they're germinating so if you're if you're able to plant something in less than two days that has a half inch to a three quarter inch tap root chances are you're going to have a good solid, you know, stock. And uh, without all that extra energy spent, time spent, you know, there's a lot to it. And um, and it just seems to be a better way, you know. And somebody that's pheno hunting and stuff, if you're – or like I do, I will, you know, I'll, I like to grow one of each variety, but I'll germinate multiple seeds. And with a can of can, you just open the lid and you can pull out your show ponies and – a seed is going to show its characteristics right from the get-go. So if it's yeah. you know, a viable, aggressive growing seed, it's going to be an aggressive growing plant. I mean, we've tried it. We've seen it. So it's, you know, so you, you, we've created a, a very safe and optimal environment for germinating that is also organized. And it's almost, you know, once you use it once, it seems a little over like, you know, you get a little – overwhelmed by the directions but when you start doing it, you're like okay it's just eight jars you're soaking and then it turns into the eight baggies but you're not handling the seeds yeah, yeah. which is amazing that's my favorite part about the whole thing is 
you go from one step to the next step and you haven't really had to do anything. No, like, you're, you're reducing a lot of risk in, you know, and, and for the benefit yeah. of the health of the seed. Uh, for those then, that yeah. don't know, God, sorry. Sorry, yes. I was just going to say, you, you know, and to complement the, the germ, once they're germinated and you're ready to go, they got the huggers. This thing yeah. is amazing. Look at this. So yeah, you have your plant. You get the okay. dimmer rabbit. Poke it right in the dirt and then boop, ready to go. There's no fuss, no muss, no looking for, you know, anything. It's just so simple. I love yeah, that. I can just reach down in the container and grab a seed. And I can squeeze it, and I'm not going to damage the seed. You know, yeah. it looks simple, but a lot of thought went into it. You know, yeah. it was, you know, it was. Well, it how many was, times have you tried to pick up a seed with regular tweezers? You know what I mean, and you fucking shoot them across the yeah. room, and like, yeah, it's like, oh man. Or yeah, when cool. you so, squeeze yeah. them, when you squeeze them, you know, if you got like man hands or something, and you're, you, you know, you yeah. squeeze them too hard with regular tweezers, you're going to break. You're gonna break your seed, so you have well, to like my fingers too. Like I have a hard time picking up seeds with my fingers because they're just like my hands are too big, you yeah. know. So I go to try to pick them up off the paper towel or something. It's just not, it's not working. Well, even yeah. with so those tweezers, towel, though, are key. It, the the tap root can grow into the tape the the paper towel. So as soon as you pick it up, it's like rip. You could you could feel it ripping almost out of yeah. The, you rip it right away. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's such a negative start to the growth of your, you know, especially when, you, when you're paying all this money for these seeds, you know? Yeah. You want to give them the best opportunity, you know, and the safest yeah. process. And, and that was the thing is, um, like I said, I've, I've tried all of the all the processes of germinating seeds, whether it be direct sowing, the bagging, the pads, um, side floating. Um, and I just, you know, Step back from all the methods and said, you know, what are the basic needs that a seed is looking for? And that's why I came up with the, the three needs for seeds. Wow. W O W, water, oxygen, and warmth. If you if you provide those conditions for a seed, then you have the best opportunity for that seed to do well. So it was, you know, a seed wants to rehydrate. So it's gonna so you that, and that's the process of soaking them. It is. They want to rehydrate, but a seed is only going to absorb so much water. Once it's had enough water to, to, to grow, any longer in the water, it's, you can drown it because they do need oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> it, the, so the goal after they've absorbed enough water, and that's why they'll soak, they get water, I mean, they'll sink because they get waterlogged and they'll drop. The goal after they, once they, they, they've, you know, rehydrated, is just to keep them from, from drying out. And mm -hmm. to touch on what Mr. Gannix was saying is, after the soak, you know, you you you, you fill it you fill it up with water. You soak for eighteen to twenty four hours, or or until you start seeing a little tap roots come. Out. Yeah. You pull out the center, dump out most of the water. You leave like nine, like ten percent on the bottom, just covering it. Put it back on the heat and keep the seed from drying out. And yeah, because that doesn't touch the bottom totally, right? When it goes back in, there's a little gap between it. Yeah, there's little feet. So you have this little bit of space there. And like you were saying before, when you lift the lid, it's full of you know condensation. Yeah. What I found out, and that's why it's not this thin, it's this thick, is once it's on a heat pad, the bottom will get, you know, in the 90s, low 100 degrees, but the roof will only be a few degrees warmer than your room. So when that warm water is touching the top, it creates that condensation, and then you have a convection. And that convection is what the secret sauce is. It's having that space, leaving a little bit in there, you know, to evaporate and then start that cycle. And it's almost know, like starting with the greenhouse effect. Yeah, and it's exactly, and it's and it's and it's exactly what seeds need. And it's in a four and a half inch container, eight different yeah, strains. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Just that's nice what I love the most it. about it. Yeah, I love the just the simplicity of it all. It just sits right here, right on my desk. So yeah, I yeah. got it. This is how much space it takes to you know to germinate seeds. That's it. Seven yeah. and a half inches by five and a half inches. You know, it's not much. You could germinate well, we, it anywhere. We did have a we did have a question there. How many prototypes did you go through before wow. before settling on this one? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um I probably spent, I don't even know, a thousand dollars in greedy filament 
<laughs> I have I like still have boxes because you know, oddly enough, because of the journey, I have a hard time throwing the scraps out because you know it tells a story. Um hundred percent. Yeah. So I, I came up with this in on April 5th of 2022. And um it was, you know, we we're not rich, so it, it, I just had to buckle down and, and kind of do everything myself. So uh, I went through and, and, you know, once I knew I had something, I used it for a couple of days. And I was like, oh, boy, this is really something. So I reached out to a patent attorney. I had to zip my lip for, you know, six, eight months. And I I learned how to, you know, use CAD so I could easily communicate with the engineer to save money there. Um, I worked, I, I worked, you know, 100% with, with the law firm. Um, I was on the ball making, you know, I read every word, I corrected, I did everything I needed to do. I learned how to create an app. So I made an app. I built the website. I wrote all the content. I made the, I made the shirts that you guys are wearing. You know, so, 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 you know, I was able to, anything that I was able to do mentally and physically, I actually took on. Um, and luckily I had um, the support of family and uh, friends that, that, that were able to help me financially back me. So I didn't, you know, we have the trade version coming out, and but it's the cost of all. And it's, you can, you know, if you have a good idea, money's not the issue. It's it's how much of your soul you want to sell. Um, <laughs> yeah. I do get reached out by by people that are looking to invest. And it's, and it's I believe in can can I would never put everything on the line for it and risk what we have if I didn't believe it wholeheartedly. Um, I've had opportunities being in the web development industry, working for you know uh, uh, retail stores and stuff to to jump on with products, and it just never was the one. There was either too much competition, or too too heavy to ship. It was always something. Um, and when I came up with CanCan, I was like, oh, this is it. This is this is a lottery ticket. You know, this is. Uh, and, and not only that, as I thought, it's such a benefit time-wise, the safety and relieving the aggravation of germination. And the thing with can and can too, it reduces the need for single-use plastic, which I think is really good. Um, you know, we I made a branding decision, which was probably a poor decision, but we if you're gonna order a can and can, don't expect fancy packaging with a product all over it wrapped in plastic. This is what you get. Yeah, yeah, which is and great because it. then you're going to either, when you're not using it, you're going to put it back in that bag. Absolutely. Or you're going to end up using that bag for something else. But Absolutely. it's going to be reused in some way. You're not going to throw yeah, it in the garbage. 100% cotton, reusable, washable. Everything that you get in the bundle is reusable. So, you know, I mean, no more waste. You know, lighting that footprint up, you know, doing it right. Um, and, and that's big with me. You know, it's it's... And not only that is, you know, I created the bundle so that when for anybody, if even, you know, we even have breeders that have changed the way they germinate mm -hmm. uh, because of the can and can. And if you're somebody that's just getting into growing, you know, you, you start off on the right foot. You know what I mean? It's it's super simple. It's easy. You know, like this pickable dad says, a baby can germinate seeds in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Talking about changing the way that people germinate, like you changed the way that I germinate because I, awesome. I started off in the paper towel and the bags. And then, you know, I was having great success. And then all of a sudden, one day I wasn't, just wasn't working for me. Yeah. Whether it was too much heat, not enough heat, whatever it was. Yeah. And yeah. I reached out to the seed company because they have the 80 percent germination guarantee and if they don't then they send you new ones so i reached out and i was like i don't know what's going on but none of your seeds are popping so i went through the whole germination with them and they said like you know they asked me how i'm doing it i said i put them in paper towel mm -hmm. and he goes but does nature do that just put them in the dirt and i so i started putting them in the dirt but then i talked to you and then tried the can of can and I'm a hundred percent sold. Like this is now the yeah. way that I terminate. I don't, I'm not doing it that way anymore. I love so. that you said, uh, cause a lot of people, yeah. you know, that direct go, and I'd like to touch on that a little bit, but I'll say this. Yeah. One thing that somebody they'll always say is like, well, look at the way mother nature does it. Well, mother nature also floods things. She does droughts. You know what I mean? Mother, you know, so she, yeah, she can be a for sure. woman. So, um, yeah. Mother nature drops. 
this is 10 million seats a year and maybe half of them spread. Yeah. Exactly. And the thing is, is like, you have exactly like <laughs> with the, the snowing, it's always a good idea to soak your seed first, no matter what. You want to rehydrate it. Yeah. And you don't want to depend on your soil to do that. Um, and then you're also talking, it could be, what, three, seven days for it to pop. We've all sat there and scratched the dirt looking and be like, I thought there was a seed in there. For sure. And yeah. <laughs> We, we, we can, you know. So I got some seeds here that I soaked for 12 hours and then I germinated them and within, you know, within 12 hours, so within 24 hours, they were ready to plant, yeah. you know, and why not really, you know, instead of, you know, and that's why we germinate in gardens too, because we don't want to waste a pot or square footage. You want to know that your seeds viable. And like I said, if you're a funeral hunter, you want to chase those you know, those really aggressive, you know, vigorous growing seeds and you pop, you pull them out. Um, yeah. It's just a controlled environment. It doesn't, keep, like I said, I stepped back from all the methods and said, what do they need? What's that environment? Let's create it and, and replicate it. Yeah. And the results are outstanding. You know, if you follow it step by step and by the method, um, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to have the greatest chance for success. And I believe that so much that Somebody contacted me the other day and he said, Hey, I'm having a little bit of trouble germinating in the can. I just got so I asked him, Did you soak them like the first phase? Yep. Did you remove the water out of them and let leave only a little layer on the bottom? Yep. My internal temperature, I got a laser, it's 83 degrees. And I said, Well, it's an ideal environment. I think yeah. it's your seeds. And he said, yeah. Well, they are old seeds. And I'm like, Well, it's not a miracle work. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. Uh, you fire in, fire out. You know, you it, it's like life. You only get out of it what you put into it. So, um, you know, if you're gonna put risky, you know, decade old seeds in there, then I, I, you know, for those seeds, this is the best opportunity for them as well because the environment is correct. But you know, it's better. I'm lefty. if anybody can, 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 can. Just, yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, and if Don't they're not gonna stroke in way. there. <laughs> if they're not going to sprout in in the can again in those in that environment, then they're they're probably yeah. not going to anywhere else. Yeah, it all you're stops. Not exactly. Get them to sprout yeah. in the dirt. Exactly. You're not going to get them to sprout in paper towel. If they don't do it in the in this can again, they're not going to probably. And yeah, I had a couple too that that didn't pop, and that's and I know I knew going in that there was a couple packs that were older, and I I knew that there was a possibility because I've po tried popping them before and I had a problem. Well, you had shared yeah. that with me. And I, and I so said, well, I knew right away hey, that it wasn't when everything else popped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you when you shared that with me, and I said, wait, two didn't pop. And I was like, what's up with those seeds? You're like, yeah, they're old. I'm like, come on, man. We're going to put some fresh ones in there. I'm just, I got to test it. I got to test it. Yeah, no, I hear yeah. you. And, I got to test and I'm it. Not opposed, right? I'm not opposed to that, too, you know, because we I actually have Nick. And got some older seeds to go, and that's pretty great. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's not my first run. You know what I mean? But we've uh, even like uh, we we put butterfly peas in there and snail vines, which manufacturer will tell you it could be over three weeks. I can nick them and plant them at forty eight hours at high germination rates, if not a hundred. Yeah, that's crazy. It's yeah. just because the environment is there. It, it's simple. It's like four pieces of plastic. It's not a you know, it's not a jet engine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we did. We did have a couple of questions. So, uh, uh, Lulu would like to know if you ship overseas. Yeah, look at the tap root. She's, she's in New Zealand. Uh, is there? Do you ship overseas? Um, okay, so we do, uh, but we're having a lot of issues, especially with Canada. Um, Canada likes to hit you with duty fees. Of course, right? <laughs> yeah, man. It, it, so somebody just contacted me tonight and was saying the same thing. They said, uh, yeah, man, I love the product, but by the time I got here, it cost me like $90, and that's more than the product it is. And I and I try to be creative. I try to send them out as samples or gifts because we're just trying to get them out there. And nope, I've got them into Australia, no problem. I've got them into Austria, no problem. Um, Portugal, they'll hold them at customs, and they give you a little bit of a hit. Um, we... We have them in a couple places, but um, I don't know. I haven't gone to, if you said New Zealand, I don't know. We got to Australia. They, they seem to accept them, no problem. Okay. Well, um, um, so that maybe maybe you and Viv can have a conversation and see if you can work something up if uh, if she's interested, because that's, yeah, uh, that's pretty awesome. And I love how Canada's like, we're the toughest. 
You can't yeah, have we're the, a new product. We're the problem child. We're the problem child, right? Mom, and it's the thing is where your neighbors, you know, I, I'm definitely, I'm working on distribution in Canada because there's a lot of interest for Canada, Canada in, in Canada. And I don't want to miss out on that. Um, so what I need to do is get in with a distributor that can work with me to take care of the free the free uh, trade agreement. It's not that anymore. I forget what it's called. Um, yeah. But that'll work. But the thing is, is, you know, you were saying before, Mama Kush, when you when you when you're doing something big, it's always better to not look at a hundred steps. It's better to look at one. Um, yeah. I don't want my excitement to go places, shoot can of can in the foot. So I'm really making sure that I'm very, you know, I always any big decisions that I make, I step back, I give it a day or a week, and then I make a decision. And a lot of times I'll discuss with people because um, so I want to get into Canada, but I don't want to rush into Canada. And do it wrong, just like the product. It's going to be top, top, you know, top of the line, and um, and and so is in our customer service. The reputation it needs to all be there. So we'll get there as long as soon as it's the right fit, and we find the right partner. Because I'm very, um, you know, um, this is my baby, you know, so it needs to be treated like my baby. Sure. You know? Yeah, for well, sure. I do. I am going to jump in here, and uh, we forgot to mention that this at the at the top of the show. Uh, but we are, are actually going to be doing a giveaway this evening. You've you've kindly offered up a kit, and uh, if you are in Canada, though, you're going to have to pay the duty. Is that is that correct? You'll pay the shipping, but they yeah, I absolutely will. And what I've noticed is that it's like certain provinces well, provinces that it's doing it. Um, mm -hmm. I sent one out to FedEx the other day. I sent it out of here Saturday morning. He had it Monday afternoon with nothing. Yeah. So it just seems like certain areas that it goes to, they're, they're hitting them. So I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's up to the discretion so, so of the if, people if, that if receive it. <laughs> yeah, probably that too. You know, I don't know. But uh, so, we're, so we're, we're we, do, we do this. Go ahead. We're trying out a new bag. So whoever wins gets the first black bag. Ooh. Oh, Dope. exciting. Hot off the press. Nice. Oh. All right. Uh, nice. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring yeah. it up and so it'll give people a chance to to enter in and then we'll we'll continue asking questions. So Papa, if you want to bring up the uh giveaway page, uh, what what should we make the word? What should the word be for should it be can a can or can a can? Kick it in the can? It's been decided. Oh, you are. He's already it's got it preloaded. There's all already right. six entries. See, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get all fancy. <laughs> so all you have to do is it. just type, type that into the chat, and you only have to type it once. You you don't multiple times doesn't mean you get multiple entries. It picks it up only only the one time. Just make sure you're you spelling it, it correctly. That's the big one. Yeah, just make sure you're spelling it correctly. I don't know if it's so cap luck, everybody. capital sensitive or not, but just just put them. No, on. I don't. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. So, uh, so we'll let that run. Let everybody get a chance to to get their entry in, and um, and then we'll continue on. So yeah, good. good luck, everyone. I know yes. it's so exciting. Thank you for for first, for offering that. It's awesome. The first oh, wow. black yes. bag too. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We need we need, so to, we need to grow this can of can fam a little bit, you know. So let's get them out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, sure. and that's the thing too. Like as soon as somebody uses it, they're gonna go tell everybody about it because it's like there yeah. there, there really isn't a simpler way to germinate seeds. There, there just isn't. And, that, so, and that's something. Yeah, I would really like to touch on that, and um, and this is this includes you guys, but um, the community is unstoppable. I've never seen anything like the cannabis community ever. I, I mean, right. um, yeah. you know, our big our big our big success story just happened a few weeks ago, where I reached out to um, you know that despicable dad's advice to Neil and Heaven over at um, High Again. And I sold him the story. I built this from the ground up. I sent this big long message to him, and he just wrote back, "Yeah, man, we'll try it out." And I thought that Neil was just going to use it and then contact me back and tell me he liked it, didn't like it. And instead, I get a alert on YouTube saying, "Oh, everybody's getting together, trying new methods, uh, going to use different germination methods. They're trying yeah. something new." And I was just like, "Oh no." This could be really, this could be really bad. Start, stop. 
Well, the thing is, is that, and, and, I, and I mentioned on the last guy I was talking to, is that, you know, you guys have a great platform, but as, as, as podcasts, you know, you guys are looking for content stuff, but once you take on somebody's product, you, you, you absolutely have a responsibility to represent that product a certain way. Um, exactly. Because if you don't, it can actually, like somebody like, you know, me with Can Can, it could be really bad. Um, yeah. So when I, 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 I logged into the show, I started watching. As soon as Neil turned the camera down, I saw how organized it was. I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be really good. And um, it sure was. And he's very methodical in the way he went through it. I could tell that he read the instructions inside and out. Very responsible for what they do. They're real pros. Very, very, and, uh, yeah, very much so, yeah. Yeah, they are. So they, they did it. It got, the, you know, it got the attention of Dakota that was there. He really, yeah. like, like really chimed in on the. He uses plastic baggies all the time, and he saw the environmental benefits to it, as well as yeah. the organizational benefits to it. Yes. So then they put the sheets. Haven't used those huggers like they know what I, I I call them huggers because when I was using them with the seeds, it's like mama's arms. You know, just hugging yeah, I them. I know. I was like, I'm stealing that. It's like mama's arms. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing safer. So. They put them in, they closed the cap, and then I just had to sit back and wait for two days. And uh, that was a long two days. And I reached out to Neil, and I asked him how the germination went. He said, oh, it went pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, Homegrow Home TV with Dakota, he had them back on, and he said, hey, let's pick up where we left off. I heard Neil say, oh, the can of can. And I said, oh, this is it. And as soon as he opened it, it was... It was a Super Bowl in this house. We, you know, that was the moment. Um, it looked like bean sprouts in there. The way um, that, the way that Neil described it, you know, he dumped the water first thing in the morning. As soon as he saw a little bit peaking for tap roots, um, he said they were half the size they were when he showed them, which means he could have planted all those seeds on the first day. And Dakota, Dakota, we all know Dakota, he knows what he's talking about. And I went back and I watched it probably 30 times. One when the candy cane came out, he he went like this, <laughs> and um, he said, "Those are record-breaking tap roots. I've never seen growth like that under 72 hours." So wow. that, 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 that's and, amazing. And I, and I started getting really upset because everybody was calling me, and I'm trying to watch it. But then I realized my Instagram doubled in followers. We we sold more in two days, and I sold in six months. Um, that's amazing. We had, show in Connecticut that week and we sold out there so it was like yeah. the last three weeks it's, and, and it's because back to where I was starting the community folks like you guys you know I'll be on your show and I'm in the chat and I, I I've been following you guys for so long I was telling this again it's like it's gonna be a little strange because I've been following you guys since you guys were like outside in the back porch smoking up and just having yeah. casual conversations between yourselves I mean yeah. I've been around for a while and I've been you know, very active in the chat. That's why I'm like, oh, I'm coming out of the chat today. You got a real deal. I'm on the show. Let's go. And, and it's a good thing that it's here because I think if I would have saw you in the streets of Canada, I'd be like, oh, hey, guys, you're like, who the hell are you? Get off. You know what's me? Yeah. I love you guys. Um, oh, so Security would take you out with one arm bar. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can travel with him. But you know, then I come on and, and you guys are just, you're just so supportive of the community because there's not there's nothing benefit you to wear my shirt one day. And then Mr. Gannix to wear my shirt one day. Do you have a can of can propping like little Easter eggs? I come on every week. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. And you know, see funny that all the all of my my reels, my stories, my and it's and it's it's amazing that you know the, man, the cannabis community is like something I've never seen. And they have taken can of can and just raised us a bunch of crowd. You know what I mean? It's like it's like we're getting carried to the stage over the crowd, man. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and, and I can can't... can is definitely one of my favorite products. I one of my it. new favorite products in the garden. It's definitely been, like I said, I, like you, I do different strains. So I have seven, eight different cups laying around and I have kids. So that's hard to, without yeah. them spilling it and without them going where they're not supposed to and, you know. So with this, it's, again, it's all contained in a little in a little container, you know, which is amazing. So it's I'm very amazing. grateful that you came up with that. Yeah, I'm grateful. Kids get into it, knock it over. 
and knock <laughs> it off the table or something like that. You don't yeah, have water exactly. all over the place. You don't have your seeds yeah. aren't gone. They're still there. They're mm -hmm. still in their triangle. You know, Where they're, they're still supposed there. to be. Yeah. When we were on Homegrown TV, I, you know, while they were talking about it, they had another guy, Brian, in the background germinating seeds in the bags on the pads, and it took him over an hour. When I went on my first podcast, I was really trying to sell them. I was like, can I, can I germinate on here? And I'll show you how easy it is instead of me telling like, yeah, go ahead. I turned the camera. I germinated eight varieties of seeds, two in each slot, and I had some germinate, so I planted one with a dibber in and and I did it all in under two minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Huge and time saver. So can, can, can we just talk about the the detail real quick about uh, the amount of thought that you've put into this into this product? There is little notch. So as stoners are, we don't get things twisted and mixed up and everything's numbered. Each little slot is numbered. I love it. <laughs> and you, you have a fill line. Don't go past here. And your instructions are laid out just beautifully. So thank you yeah. very much for you know showing, showing all that detail. So uh, I think you answered it. It's for stoners. <laughs> So one day I just had to go down there clear headed and, 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 and straight and say, okay, figure it out and, and create <laughs> a, a process that is, you know, that the most, you know, that's the simplest way that anybody can follow um, yeah. word by word. You know, everything was very, you know, I considered every single word, every, every period to everything that, that was done because you know, I wanted to make it as simple as possible because it should be that simple. Yeah. Yeah. I just, well, and, I just, like a lot of people, like Norma G was saying earlier in the chat, um, his, his germinating anxiety is gone now. A lot of people have that anxiety when it comes to germinating. Seeds. A lot of, a lot of oh, people, yeah. that's the worst step Absolutely. in growing is germinating. That was it, especially when you have the responsibility of doing everybody else's. And that was that's what I got down to. I was like, this is too much because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to screw things up, especially especially when somebody, you're, you're responsible for somebody else's seed or whatever. So it was, yeah. Yeah. this wasn't for me to invent something to bring it out to market. This was creating a solution for me. And then it just worked so well. It was just like a no-brainer. It was like, this is going to be beneficial to everybody that wants to use it. And oh, one yeah. of the things sure is that I'm not a rich guy so I wanted to figure out a way was to price it in a way that was affordable to anybody where you know the can is priced you know US dollars at forty dollars and I'm thinking I would spend two twenty dollar bills no problem on it. Yeah. But then it's also oh, yeah. there's reputation that's involved too. So somebody can just buy the can and they can bring it home. And because they don't have the rest of the tools, you know who knows what's going to happen. So what I did do is I only mark the bundle for another less than twenty dollars more. So that way, for under sixty dollars, you get everything you need. You get the can, you get filters, you get the huggers, you get the cloth wall, you get the heat pad, you get the partition chop, the markers, and everything's reusable. You get the bundle bag, exactly. And for that, you know, you spend you know three twenty dollar bills, you get everything that you're going to need to be successful. Year after year after year, you never have to buy them again. I've lost more money in that than in one run of germination. Yeah. So it's the quality on the quality on it. It is so sturdy, and it like is. you know, it like I am. I am just uh, it's it's water soaking, so I'm not going to open it. But um, <laughs> yeah, that, that it's, it's, you know? it's very sturdy, and I mean, it's it the ease of use. Well, look at me, I opened it. <laughs> you know, I've, I've bought all kinds of different trays in my time, and we, like I said, we do a lot of growing here. And there's nothing worse than getting your equipment and you turn around, you kneel on it, and you break it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, then, and then you're buying new pots or even the flimsy ones. You have to replace them every couple seasons, and that's it's so we would have piles of them. It's like all this plastic is unnecessary. So yeah. you know, and that that's a big issue. So you know, we went back and 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 the quality of it is intentional i wanted to make sure that i'm not selling you 10 over the next 10 years i would rather sell you, sell you one that you love so much you use it so much the green gets worn off and you tell 10 people how much you love it you know yeah. the is big enough i don't need to you know make this throwaway product 
that's just contaminating and adding to you know landfills. So it's made out of recycled plastic. It is recyclable polypropylene. It's dishwasher safe, so it is lab ready. And our tray version that we're coming out with is focused towards labs for single cell cultured growth for um, grow facilities I want to do, you know, 1,000 plus seeds at a shot. And it's also for the more advanced growers. So you go all the way from seed storage to early growth, all in the same system. Never touch a seed from the second you, you get your seeds to the time you plant it. You never touch a seed or a plant in our tray system, which is I'm hoping will be out sometime next year. I'm glad you brought that up because I, I wanted to talk nice. about that tray a little bit because that tray yeah. is equally as badass as the the can of can like i've never seen it in my hands but in the pictures it looks like the i'll call them the pots or where you yes, plant the the they yeah. open yes so you don't have to pop them out you know out of a solo cup or something like that you just open it it splits in half you open it you plant it you're done. Yes. Yeah, so, so the, so the tray version is it, it's it's basically the, the can on steroids. It has 16 different partitions, so you can you can literally you can store 16 varieties of thousands of seeds in it. Um, but you you can germinate it just like you do with a can. But once you go past germination, the floor that so the the strainers that are in the bottom of those they're removable. They're false bottom strainers. So what you were saying is the split pot. That was my the, the tray started off because I was like, oh, there's going to be those direct sow guys that are like, I only direct sow. So the split pot was a solution to any grow medium that you're going to use. It'll fit it. If you're using soil, you pack it right in there so you can use it. But you can go all the way from seed storage, germination, take your germinated seed, remove the false bottom so your roots can grow through the split pot into the bottom tray. Um, and then and the benefit for that, too, is you're going to be able to bottom water your plants within the tray once they become early growth plants, little seedlings. So now you're avoiding unwanted pests, algae, and plant growth that's going on the top of your medium. Um, yeah. And for, for bigger places, it'll actually run in series. So you can actually say, I got six tray systems in here, and it'll pump out at temperature the right amount of water to flow from if you're germinating. And then after that 18, 24 hour mark, it's going to drain itself, keep it to temperature. Um, if you're doing early growth in it, it'll do 30 minute intervals of, of watering your plant from the bottom. So it's going to be a lot more advanced. Um, it's not out yet because it needs to be perfect. But I'm very excited about it because, you know, it, it's it, not only am I excited about it because I, I, I think it's a great solution, but everywhere we go, everybody's like, hey, that can's great. When's that train coming out? I'm like, so. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks so amazing. cool, honestly. Like, yeah. I saw the picture of it, and I kind of, like, read the little – you always put, like, a little description in there. And I, I read it, and I was like, man, that thing is badass. Like, I was like – in, in, the, in the prototype, I was able to do – we did a bunch of different flowers in it, and we did um, a bunch of vegetables that are tough or that we wanted to get going to pick the winners. And we did a whole, you know, almost a whole garden in one tray in, in 24 hours, 48 hours. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So not only the, the tray version opens up both to the cannabis and to the agricultural industry. Yeah. So that's going to be a wow. big move. It's going to be the right move. Like I said, Absolutely. always two step back. Mm -hmm. Look and make sure that we're doing everything yeah, right. Yeah, just, I'm, very, yeah. I'm very proud of the can can. A lot of thought went into it, and I want the same amount of of effort and thought to go into the tray. You know, reputation is everything, and um, 100. It'd be a good solution. You know, I want yeah. it. Well, yeah. you know. Us in the community, we can see how quickly if uh, you're you or the brand you rep do something that's unethical and and not nice how quickly that hammer can come down so yes, you, you know yes. we it, it, yeah. it, goes, it goes both yeah. ways so if we're singing your singing your praises you know it's you know it's the truth right because yes if, if they weren't people people in this community are very honest and they, they will let you know <laughs> yeah. tell you that Typically, I, I would like to, so if I'm going to go on a podcast or something, if somebody asks me on, I'm like, no, nope, you use it first. Because I don't want you to, I don't want you to talk on a concept 
or take my word for something. I want you to use it and you to love it. And then, I mean, look at me. I can't shut up because I love it so much. You know what I mean? I wait for a mom to be like, stop, stop, because I just, I think it's a good product. And, um, and, and, and I think that I have a great product in a great community, which is going to give me a great life. I mean, I love it where things are going. I couldn't be more grateful for everybody that's out there that has, you know, sang praises I mean, in the beginning, the ones that gave me feedback, the ones I was sending. You know, we had diehards from the beginning of conception that I was sending 3D print models over it and talking on the phone and making corrections and making sure that, you know, I was hitting it all right from the top and, and doing what was best, not only for the product, the brand, myself, but also the community that you're offering to. I didn't want to be out there pushing a bobblehead. You know what I mean? I could, you know, can to can is, it has merit. Um, I, I, you know, it's so good that if a scene takes three or four days, I'm like, oh, that thing must be junk. Because, you know, <laughs> and I've actually done it. I've closed it up and I've thrown it aside. I go back to clean. I'm like, oh boy, they got little leaves on them. Whoops. <laughs> well, Mama was saying the same thing. She had, the, she had a couple that like, just, they had leaves on them. Yeah, they're like bean sprouts. Like you want to throw them in a salad with yeah. some uh, bacon bits. Well, they exploded yeah. out of the seed, and I didn't have my old lady glasses on, so I was like, "Oh, that looks like number so and so." And I left my list downstairs, so it, you that know, it was like doomed. That. It was doomed right from the very start. I should have just ran downstairs and got my list and my glasses. But no, these seeds exploded out of there, and I planted the seed. Hole, I guess. <laughs> well, wait, would that have been for candy cane if those were sprouted too? <laughs> yeah. Let, let's let's go ahead and, and run the run the draw. Uh, so good luck, everybody. Last chance, just good enter in can of can, and uh, you're gonna win the very first black bag. Oh my goodness! Can we see it again? That's exciting. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Oh, that is love dope. It. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love nice. it. And if you are in Canada and you win, um, you, we, you'll be in charge of the duties. So he'll cover the shipping. It's just the, the duties that um, you may or may not incur. And yeah. uh, I find it to be somewhere around like $30. Yeah. If it is to happen. Which, which really is, is a pretty damn good deal for a can of can. Yeah, and, and right. I'll be uh, I'll be extremely creative at shipping it too. So we'll try my best to avoid it, but no promises. Yeah, yeah. and it all it's like you so said, it depends good. on on where you are, and yeah, some places hit you with it, some places don't. So it's the luck of the draw. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's go ahead good and luck. draw, Papa. Good luck. Good luck. I love this part. Do, 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 oh, do, oh. Do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Oh. Winner! Oh. Woo! Congrats. Congrats! Awesome! How can Quan get a hold of you? Um, you can just... That's just, exciting. Yeah, just email support at gmail. Uh, gmail um, support at canacan.com. Awesome. Awesome. There let us go. know. Are you in, Quan? let us know. Are you in U.S. or Canada? Because we just might have had that whole spill for nothing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Congratulations. Yeah, but you got to throw, you gotta throw yeah. it out there before it happens, just in case. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I want to get them out there, but you know what I mean? We're already going to eat the shipping and send out the product. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I'll be as good as possible if it is in Canada, but. But over no, overseas he's in, is he's even in the US, US. So. in Canada. Oh, perfect, perfect! Congratulations! Oh my goodness, that's awesome! That yeah, and you fabulous. can get a hold of them on Instagram. The yeah, if they want, just go to Instagram right there and contact me there. That'd be probably easiest if you have an Instagram account. If you don't, then just hit me up at yeah. supportcanacan.com. And you're another one of those companies that you're very reachable. Absolutely. Answer all the questions. Like uh, the first time I ever reached out to you, it was like within an hour or two. Like you were, you were right back on there. You know what I mean? Like right away. Yeah, we had. I mean, I, I was telling you about the heat pad issue. We had to come up with a solution, which was a that. But um, the first, the first time somebody reached out to me, 
you know, he was explaining to me. And I said, hey, look, at while we're talking, check your email. He's like, well, you just refunded me. I said, absolutely. Check your email again. Oh, I'm sending you a new heat pad immediately. Um, oh, and I don't know, like he, people reach out and they just and they ask for advice or a little bit more clarity. And I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. it's about. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do everything I can to make sure I get there as fast as possible and the answer as clear as possible. And one thing I do have going on, hopefully next That's week, awesome. is I'm creating a, yeah, I love that. I'm creating <laughs> a, a, an That's actual how to video yeah. on YouTube. Can, can. Nice. Yeah, and you, you, got you, got YouTube, you got a YouTube, you got a YouTube channel. Yeah, now that I'm starting to up, I'm going to get a little bit more videos out there. I'm going to show how to use the can, how to use the huggers. Um, Everything I can think of, how to plant seedlings, um, you know, because there's some other, you know, there's certain things like filling your pot only two thirds and planting it low and as it stretches back, filling to, you know, the water, you know, I'm a big fan of um, bottom watering versus watering from the top, I think is really good. Okay. Um, the, the old butt chug method. Yeah. You like, you like, yeah. You like butt well, chug, is, yeah. yeah. When you're when you when you're growing when you're growing from the top, all you're doing is you're seeing a lot of water filling up, and you really don't know. I mean, you'll see it drain through the holes, but you don't know that it's it's actually saturated or not saturated, but moist enough. And you also take risk of, like I said, on water pests, different plant growth that you don't want there. Uh, where if you're bottom watering, it's absorbing, and you only do it for a half hour, or so and then you know that you're. You know your soil at the right moisture level that you need to be. Yeah. Well, not so, only that, but you're, you're driving the roots to the bottom, right? Like the, the roots well. are going to go towards the moisture. So Absolutely. you you add that water from the bottom, and those roots are just going to go for it. Yeah, so they're going to know where they're going to hit the bottom. Of the pot. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Yeah, I love the old butt chug method. Yeah, it's 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 it, you know it, it seems to be the best of works for for many reasons. Yeah, I do a little so bit of both, the really. Butt. I do both, like because I'm organic for right. the most part. Right. I I do have to water from the top sometimes, but in between, I do the bottom feeding. Yeah, once I'm once I'm outside because I like I like grow outside. And I've already thought about this. I always want to go around the campfire, and I'm like, yeah, I'll be here. I'll be in the dark. You know what I mean? So maybe I have to create a video or something. But once I get outside, I'm running a hose and stuff, you know, from the well water and stuff. So. You know, I'm limited, but when I'm in the for the few months that I am indoors, it's all in trays and, and doing it that way. You know, the goal, you know, the goal with can can is just to get you off right, man. You know, I can I can break ground with seeds that have a seedling in two and a half days, in four week, you know, four days you have an established plant that you're not, you know, you don't have to baby so much. You can take the bib off, you know. And we're working on um, a couple of the tag ideas that are gonna come out really soon that are gonna allow you to keep track of your seed labels without question um that'll be a surprise really cool it's going to be you able to go from the beginning and put one tag on and never know you know you'll always know what what there's the campfire i'm finally here there you go you're at the fire you're, now. you're here <laughs> campfire <Nice>. welcome <laughs> no <laughs> nope, but that's like so, you said earlier, you start off right, then you know you're gonna have a much more successful grow. If you can be successful yeah. from from seed and you don't run into those issues early on, the stronger your plane is gonna be. The less stress, Absolutely. the better. Absolutely. And one promise I'll make too is uh because you know, I've been I've been, you know, you know, could have gone outside the realm of germination, but we're not. We're gonna stay focused and we're gonna make sure that. You know, my goal is in five years that when you think about germination, you think can can because it's the best option and for success. So that, that's yeah. my goal. Well, honestly, like I over the last couple months, I've really, really watched can can from from my perspective take right off because there was only I only knew a couple people that had it at the beginning. And I, I started seeing it and I was like, what is this thing? I got to know more. And that's when I reached out to you to find out, like, you know, what is this thing? What does it do? Tell me about it. And then and that, like, and next thing you know, it's everywhere. That was, the, that's the community. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I really held a lot of pride with the, you know, I built this thing solo on my own. But man, I'll tell you what, the last few weeks I had to carry the call of the troops. We got everybody folding directions, making shots, doing everything we can because um, the, 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 the community is making this a success. And, uh, and I'm, eternally grateful and I'm, I'm glad that i 
I was able to offer a quality, you know, product that's beneficial to growers alike, you know. So, but that's the thing, though. So, like, the community is talking about it. But really, at the end of the day, the reason why the community is talking about it is because you made a great product. Yeah, the product has merit. Anybody can make a product. And, you know, the whole community might talk about it, but they might not talk about it in the same way. No, and it's it, 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 it either make or break you kind of thing. And it's funny you notice that because man, it has exploded. Yeah. You know, we like went from right. making, you know we went from making uh, you know we did our, our, our we, we launched in August of last year. We did our first show in Maine, and I did like twenty three sales, and I was like, oh, this is great. And then after that, I was like, wow, every week I'm making a sale, even if it's just a pair of Huggies. I didn't care. And now we're, you know, we're, we're doing daily sales, knock on wood. So it's oh. it's been, it's been amazing. Yeah, and it's and it's because of the community. That enough. Yeah. They're all yeah. rallying yeah. behind Turkey, and and I and I you know and as the community helped me, I hope that I hope Canada can can give back and help the community in the future. The you know there's nothing else like it in the world. The pie is huge. I'm not a big fat glutton, and and if it can benefit. Others and, and I, I, I bring it on. I want to be that guy. You know, I want to be the guy that's like, I didn't take a paycheck last year. Y'all get it. You know, I want to be that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Show me the money. Show me the money. I need to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, I've, I've always said there's room for everybody. There's room for everybody, you know, yeah. even with the podcasts or YouTube or products, you know, there's so many light companies. There's, they're all making money, you know, like there, yeah. there's room for everybody in this community. Absolutely. And as more, as more things legalize and the, the names start growing, that pie is just going to get bigger. Absolutely. Exactly. And you, have to, you have to be, a, you have to be a good community member too. Don't expect that. You're just going to, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're gonna just suckle off the, the, sure. team of the community. You know what I mean? You have to you gotta be part of the community, and I'm glad I am. And I like to think that I'm a I'm a good positive part of the community because you know I, I appreciate everybody and I will not yeah, forget absolutely. everybody. And um yeah. and I and I do, I, I respect and love everyone. I, mean, I am grateful, you know, there's too many to to list, and I'm grateful every for every single one of them. And they know because I have reached out I, anybody that shared point of can. Talks about Candy Can. I have personally reached out to every single one of them and thank them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I can yeah, you are so so amazing. You you are so reactive with the community. I know we could yes. we could go on for we can go on for hours, but we're we're running up to the hour mark. We're trying to limit ourselves. We're trying to be responsible <laughs> adults. If you can imagine that. <laughs> Only on Wednesdays, though. Only on Wednesdays, we're trying to be responsible. Not Fridays. Yes. If you want to come hang out with us on Fridays, you're more than welcome. If if you have a, a grow going and you want to show your grow, we do Grow Me Gardens on Friday nights where you can just come in, show off your grow. We ask you a few questions. And we also do a campfire, which we're seeing a preview of tonight, uh, where we just hang around and just chat. Sometimes it's about yes. movies, sometimes it's about gardening sometimes it's about the community you know we just we just hang out so you're you're you have an open invitation sir to shit shit come back and... i'm there every friday <laughs> <laughs> well you're welcome you're welcome to join us on screen you have the official you know link I'm, there, I'm there on fridays and i'm pressing logos on bags and i'm cutting stuff and i'm listening to you guys i get in make a comment because i hear something great and i go back and <laughs> Over the last several months, I've been listening to you guys on Friday night get my getting things done. So it's great. Nice. That's oh, awesome. fantastic. I love awesome. hearing that. Nice. Yeah. I'm always, I'm yeah. always there. Yep. Yeah, I love it. You guys have a great well, channel. It just, it... Oh, appreciate oh, thank that. you. Thank you so much. It's nice to hear that. It's really nice to hear that. Okay. We're... We put a lot of work in in the last few months. <laughs> well, oh, it, yeah. And it, it shows. Papa it did. Shows. You guys have a, a really good channel, and I think that I wish you guys all the success. You guys deserve it, and I know you're in a rush to get this up. But I was, I like I told Mister Gannix, I was very excited to come on here because, you know, I I, I see you so much, and it's almost like you guys are family. So it was, I wasn't so intimidated about coming on here. It was like, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with the crew. This is great. Yeah, yeah and, that's and, right. and this that's the the whole 
atmosphere that we try to create like just and it's and it's off screen too. I mean, it's off screen too you and i were I'm having a, gonna... we were having a good laugh yesterday over stickers you know because I, mean? I called yeah. you out <laughs> and, I'm like, home, like, and i'm talking i'm like dude i'm laughing over here you're like me too i'm like this is great you guys are all right. And even you, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for a second now. Well, oh, well, no thank you, man. thank you so much for for joining us this evening, Dawn. I really do appreciate uh, you letting us test out your product yes. and awesome. letting us, you know, talk about your product and my stu- silly of planting a seed hole instead. Well. <laughs> Hey, that, that makes for another story I can tell people, so I like it. That's right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, something only mama will do. Yes, yeah, so. That, thanks for everything you guys do for the community, and uh, you guys do a great show. I mean, you guys started off with a grow, you, you know, you you know, you got the grow, uh, show your growth thing, and I, I think it's amazing, and uh, your community thanks you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Dawn. We appreciate that. It's nice to hear okay, that. Before, I, we're sure. gonna let you go because you're gonna make me tear up in a second here. And Mama doesn't want to cry right now. <laughs> I put my makeup on. <laughs> All right, funny. Don. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yes, thank you for showing up. Appreciate you. Love every single one of you. Oh, thank you. Yes. All right, later, dude. Appreciate you. What a cool dude. <laughs> love that exit he's amazing that, that was oh so God. much fun oh we could have gone on yeah, for a couple more hours i think we i think we really could have honestly but there's always you know, he's got more products yes. coming out he's got big ideas yeah so there's always there's always that chance of a second maybe a third depending you know yeah that's right yeah that's so. right when, Stay tuned. Yeah, we've, we've, already hit, we've already hit that. So, yes. Okay. So, uh, Bunny, do, do we have a good connection with you right now? Do you want to let everybody know I about think our so. merch store? <laughs> the Free Amigos! Oh, no. Not on interviews. I, are we doing that? <laughs> no. No. Not on interviews. That's a Friday thing. We took a step. A- Look at this. That was a joint moment. All our no. eyeballs just <laughs> crossed. <laughs> <and we're> like- <laughs> Normally, Mama I didn't even wait for a response from you guys. I was just like, oh, no, nope, not tonight. Me. <laughs> nope, that's a, that's a Friday. That is that's a, a late Friday. Friday thing. That's a late yes. Friday yes. thing. That's like a midnight yes. Friday thing for us. Not so yes. much for you guys. It's like 9 Papa's- for you guys or something. What a guy. Me up the party animal. <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Quite funny, the party animal. <laughs> Literally the only one here without a beer in her hand. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah. Bunny, Bunny's know. way more calm and collected than we are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, we can find our merch. Um, it's posted on our Instagram in our bio on uh, HDTC in our bio, and you just click the link. I can't remember the actual website. I think it's like Spring Creator HDTC or something, something yeah. like that. Just click the link. And it's way um, easier. Yeah, big shout out to the people who have actually already purchased merch. We really appreciate that, and we're honored that you're willing to wear the brand so thank you so much to everyone who has already it's so cool seeing people it is like i've seen you guys and myself a million times wearing it but seeing people actually wearing it outside of us is a cool thing it's pretty cool it is so cool cool. that's new for me it chills right now you know like I've seen people that have like won stuff from giveaways and stuff that we've done, you know, 
and that's cool too. But the fact yeah. that people went out of their way to spend their hard-earned money on our brand is I know. I just cool. love it. We appreciate I just love it. it. And everything just goes right back into it, the community. It, yeah. For the stream yard and, exactly. you know, all that all that fun jazz, you know, <laughs> that comes with it. You know, Papa's yeah. got to have his toys, right? <laughs> Shout out to Papa. See, we, we're not Shout talking about him. Making himself known. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I make this look good. Yes, you do, sir. And he hasn't good muted job. me in a while, too, so that's been pretty <laughs> he does these boots are off. <laughs> Go on. He didn't mute you though. He just kicked you off. No, he kicked me right out. <laughs> out. But yes. So Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Grow Me Gardens. Come show your grow. We want to see them all. Hang out at the campfire. We do the campfire for like the last hour kind of thing. And we just hang out. We shoot the shit. Talk about whatever. It doesn't have to be plant related. It can be doesn't have to be cannabis plant related can be tomatoes if you want to can be movies can be whatever it's and it just whatever the conversation it's 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 when we start we drifting out. off from gardens and start moving into conversations so wherever wherever the flow goes some um, yeah we've we've had amazing chad westport joined us one night and we had amazing movie i'm still like blown away by that campfire that was like the most fun campfire ever we heard yeah, about him fun. almost yeah. running over an actress that was like, oh, <laughs> on a film set. Way to go, Chad. Yeah. We pick on Chad a lot on this show, don't we? Oh, we kind of do. A little bit, oh, sometimes. Kind of oh. <laughs> it's only because we love him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's, yes. let's wrap what? this up and yeah. we will continue this conversation on Friday. Yes, yes. Get some stash play and feed my kids. <laughs>